I was in the Disney store about ah, within the last 30 days. And I was there because I wanted to do a scan everything of what was in that store. So I spent a good 30 minutes in the store and I made this 10 minute video. So watch this video. You will find gems that are obviously profitable. I did end up buying uh, a little bit of stuff while I was in the store. Uh, but fun fact, at the time of this scan, I did not know that the Disney store was closing down. Here is a great example of price gouging. Disney Animator's Little Ariel does not sell for $128, but a fulfillment by merchants, somebody who's added this to their listing, is trying to jack it up so high and see if somebody will buy it at that price and then they will just obviously order it online and ship it to that customer. Be careful when you see these highly inflated priced gouging prices. There is a huge difference between price gouging and market value. Price gouging is when there's no other sellers on the listing, usually just one seller and he's charging an absurd price for the product. Market value is when there are many sellers on the listing, 5, 10, 15, 20, but the product is still selling for an absurd price because the market demands it and it values it at that price point. I absolutely love these toy sets, these Disney toy sets that they sell at the Disney store with multiple characters that you can buy at once. These are hugely popular on Amazon. And if you can catch the Disney store at the right time, you can usually find these on sale for 50% off. In this case, we're gonna double our money, buy it for 17 bucks, make 15 bucks on the, the sale. Throughout the video, have you noticed that I have been using the search bar more so than the Amazon recognition tool? That's because the recognition scanning tool, the dots that you see, are not picking up the image and not picking up the barcodes of most of the items that are in the Disney store. So I'm doing a search of the exact title and description of the product and then I'm scanning what my search pulls up to see if I can locate the exact product that I'm trying to find that matches what's on the shelf. And then for example, with this Lilo and Stitch figurine set, I'll make sure that each toy is identical to that pictured in the images of the Amazon search because you wanna make sure that the product that you are scanning is an exact match of the listing that's on Amazon. Right down to the detail and the pose of the toy itself, the figurine itself. Make sure you all show some love for this video. Smash that like button right now if you hung out with me this long. I truly appreciate it it is definitely going to be sad to see the disney stores go away in canada i'm definitely a huge disney fan we take our family to disneyland all the time we've been there three times and when this pandemic ends we plan to go there another three times I am definitely going to take advantage of their closures and source as much good quality inventory as I can from the Disney stores. Low rank stuff, high profit stuff, stuff that I can double my money with. And I'll probably source as much of it of the inventory as I can. All these toys that you see in this video will probably at some point in time be cleared out at 50% off. All of these toys that you see in this video. And that's why I'm saying now is the time to put Disney stores 
on your radar and get into these stores on a weekly basis because you are going to start accumulating a lot of good quality inventory that is going to double your investment and you'll source this inventory at 50 plus percent off. Man, it's going to be sad. I'm sad. I'm legit sad. Disney is closing down. My daughter and I just launched our Disney, well, more so Star Wars YouTube channel called Generations of Star Wars. So make sure you guys go check that out. We've just been accumulating things for our episodes, toys, comics, books, magazines, watching The Bad Batch, catching up on Clone Wars, catching up on all the movies, all that type of stuff. If you're a Star Wars fan, then leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what Disney means to you. Give a brother a thumbs up on this video right now. Thank you guys for staying to the very end of this video. I appreciate it.